Term break. We hope all of you teachers had a rest. We went out for walks in the rain and the sunshine. We baked cakes, drew pictures and decorated a bedroom. Ah! We also have been seeing signs of spring and little glimpses of new beginnings and joy. Daffodils and snowdrops, new green leaves and blossom, lambs hopping in the field, light and mornings and evenings. All these things, along with the government's annou announcement, give us a sense of moving towards happier times and a sign of hope, joy and light that will soon be back into our community. Have you all had a good week this week, back schooling either at home or in school? I took a couple of days to get back into the routine. We're really excited to be going back to school in a week. It's been nice being home with family, but we can't wait to see our friends and teachers again. This week's Kids at Home is about wisdom, making good decisions and taking time to understand and learn, but also being wise with our choices and what we do and say and who we listen to. Making wise decisions to do what God wants us to do. We hope you all think about your choices this week, being kind and helpful. Now have a great week and we'll see you again next time. Bye! Bye. Ah! Bible talks about something called wisdom, experience, insight, common sense, knowledge and good judgement. Wisdom is the ability to find the truth and know what action should be taken. In today's story, you meet someone who wants to be wiser than God. But will she make the right decisions to help her be wise? Let's hear what the Bible says about wisdom and open the book to the story of Adam and Eve. The Bible talks about something called wisdom, and that includes experience, insight, common sense, knowledge and good judgment. Wisdom is the ability to find the truth and know what action should be taken. In today's story, we meet someone who wants to be wiser than God. But will she make the right decisions to help her be wise? So let's hear what the Bible says about wisdom and open the book to the story of Adam and Eve. God made the world. And then he planted a garden in the east, in a place called Eden. It was a beautiful garden, and Adam and Eve, the first man and the first woman, called it home. They talked with God, they walked with God, and life was perfect. God planted all kinds of trees in the garden, trees that were good to look at, trees that were good to eat from and then he planted a very special tree in the middle of the garden the tree of the knowledge of good and evil god said to adam you can eat the fruit from any tree except for this one for if you eat from this tree you will surely die Of all the animals that God made, the serpent was by far the most crafty. The serpent said to Eve one day, Tell me, did God really say that you are not allowed to eat from any of the trees in the garden? Eve shook her head and then she said, we can eat from any tree except for the tree in the middle of the garden. If we eat from that one, we will die. The serpent laughed. <laughs> it was not a nice laugh. You won't die, he sneered. If you eat from that tree, 
then you will know what God knows. You will be able to decide what is evil and what is good for yourself. And if you know what he knows, then you will be as wise as him. And you won't need him telling you what is good for you or not. Eve looked at the fruit and rubbed her belly. She was hungry. And Eve looked at the fruit and licked her lips. It smelled delicious. And Eve thought about being as wise as God. Eve had a choice to make. She knew what God had said. But the serpent sounded so clever. Eve wondered, should I eat the fruit or not? Hmm. At last she thought, this will make me as wise as God. I would like that. So she picked a fruit and she took a great big juicy bite. Then Eve called to Adam. Adam, Adam, come here and taste this fruit. It will make you as wise as God. Now Adam had a choice to make. He remembered what God had said, and he understood it. He pondered, Should I remind Eve about what God actually said? But Eve sounded so smart. Adam wondered, should I eat the fruit or not? Hmm. But in the end, to be as wise as God was too good a chance to miss. So Adam took the fruit. And Adam took a bite. And as soon as he had, he knew something all right. He knew that now... The things he used to know as good somehow felt bad. It didn't feel like eating from the tree had been the right thing to do after all. Later that day, Adam and Eve heard God walking through the garden. Now they were ashamed of the choice they'd made, so they hid. said Eve. And then God sighed. You've eaten from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, haven't you? The one I warned you about. Adam pointed at Eve and said, It was her fault. She gave me the fruit. So God turned to Eve. and that he knew better than God and so they chose to listen to the snake not very wise at all in fact you could say very silly Christians believe the wisdom comes from basing on your judgments on what God teaches us in the Bible about how to live our lives but Christians aren't perfect and I know I make silly choices just like Adam and Eve and usually there are consequences to our actions, just like there were for Adam and Eve. But God didn't forget about Adam and Eve when they had to leave the garden. In fact, 
The whole Bible is about how God kept walking alongside his people. Now it's time for some worship. <laughs> Faith is being sure of what you hope for, certain of what you do not see. Faith is being sure of what you hope for, Hebrews 11 verse 1. Not three! No one had never seen a flood, a bit of mud maybe, but not a flood you see. God spoke and Noah didn't flinch, and inch by inch, he built an ark. Bish, bash, blish, blash, faith is being sure of what you hope Certain of what you do not see Faith is being sure of what you hope for Hebrews 11 verse 1 Not three. David had never slain a giant One so defined that he insulted God you see God spoke to David took his sling And fling a ding He struck him dead Wick wax mix max Faith is being sure of what you hope for Certain of what you do not see Faith is being sure of what you hope for Hebrews 11 verse 1 Not three. Sarah had never had a son Then that was fun for she had not begun You see, God put a twinkle in her eyes And by and by, she had a child Wah, 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 wah Faith is being sure of what you hope for Certain of what you do not see Faith is being sure of what you hope for Hebrews 11 verse 1 Not 3 Bish bash blish splash Wick wax mix mat Wah 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 Who knows what God will Bish bash blish splash Wick wax mix mat Wah 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 Who knows what God will do Faith is being sure of what you hope for Certain of what you do not see Faith is being sure of what you hope for Hebrews 11 verse 1 Not three. Choices about who we listen to and what we do. Amen. See you again.